Hello, I'm Keegan, and today I'm going to talk about time management from a student's perspective and using the Outlook Exchange calendar to help manage our time. Now the reason we want to do this is so that each semester we can achieve our goals that we set out to do, but also so we don't become overwhelmed. Let's take a look. If you navigate to exchange.ou.edu, you can sign in using your OUNet ID or 4x4 and password, and this will give you access to your Exchange calendar. Now you can use some other calendar apps uh, that are already on your computer or Outlook that is in Microsoft Office. However, I will encourage you to add your Exchange accounts to your mobile devices such as smartphones or tablets because it's very convenient to access your calendar on the go. But let's take a look at the web version of this tool. Once you're signed in to Exchange, you should come to the mail page. Now, if you navigate to the calendar here, this is where we're going to spend most of our time. So I have a class at 930. And what I want to do is I'm going to add a new event. And the class that I have is English. 11.13. And this is at Dale Hall. It starts from 9.30 and finishes around 10.30. Just to be safe, I'm going to set a reminder for 30 minutes before the class begins. Well, this class is actually a class that goes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I actually want to set it up to specify that. So if you go to this icon right here, this is the repeat or reoccurrence. And what you can do is you can set this to repeat every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'm going to set this for my start date at the beginning of the semester. And we're going to end it after, we'll end in December once I hit save and close. This, my entire semester, will now have my English class set up. So if I go to month view, I can see those for the rest of the month. But I have lab for chemistry around 1, so I'm going to double click at 1 p.m. And I'm going to put as my subject chem lab. Now this goes on for a much longer period of time so I'm actually going to change it to three hours and I'm going to also set my reminder I think this one I'll have for an hour because it's a bit longer of a walk and that way I can be prepared and then I'm gonna set this as reoccurring but it only happens on Monday so I'm only gonna select Monday and then I'm gonna make the end date the same as before so once I'm done and I may type a note here to bring goggles. That way I remember. And now that is in my schedule. And I can go to my month view and you can see it's been added. I also want to set up a meeting that I have. So if I go in here and I'm going to tap on this icon, which is the invite attendees. And from here, I can actually specify an individual that I'm going to invite to this appointment. Once I have this set up now, I'll just, I, I don't need a reminder for this, but I wanted to add it to her calendar. So I'm going to send her this. And what's going to happen now is this is going to add this to my calendar, but she will also get an invite for her to add this Japanese club meeting to her calendar as well. One of the last things I want to show you too real quick is I'm actually going to edit this. So if I'm going to double tap on it and I'm going to edit not this occurrence, I'm going to edit the entire series is what I'm going to do. And what I would like to do is I'm actually going to apply a category to this because I'm going to make all of my meals orange is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to say save and continue. So now I have color coding built into this calendar, which is great because then I can take a quick look at it and see, oh, I have class coming up or, oh, lunch is next. Now, once you've added everything to your calendar, it may look something like this. Now, this is an example from your textbook, 
and it has everything on it. It has the eating schedule, it has exercise, it has your classes. I mean, everything is in this calendar. So this is one option. You can outline your entire day for every week of the semester. What I want to do just really quickly is take a look at one of my schedules from uh, one of my semesters in, at the university. Now, what I did to plan this is first, I, I added my class schedule because that wasn't going to move. And then I added my work schedule right after that because that was going to stay the same throughout semester. Now, after that, I had some extracurricular that I was that was very important to me, so that's in there. And then also I had a volunteer activity that I participated in every week. So as you can see, those four things have already filled up a lot of my schedule. And what I ended up doing is I left my schedule at this, and every time where I had free time, I was usually studying, but I like to break that up with a little bit of fun here and there. So that way, just not always knows in the books. That way I could have a good time in college. Now, what I'm trying to say is that whether you schedule everything in your day or whether you just schedule your classes and work and other activities, this tool, this practice of scheduling activities of time management is going to be valuable to you in your academic career. It's going to help you succeed and it's going to help you obtain your degree. So I hope this has been beneficial to you. And as you move forward, I wish you good luck in your studies and in life.